The Forest of Seasons is amazing. I know. I think it's the forest's fault I'm always hungry. Wait, what would a forest have to do with your appetite? The forest is sectioned off into the four seasons, right? That means seasonal food is ripe all year round. Aha. Uh -huh. Winter fish runs, spring fruit picking, and all the summer and fall harvests in between. We've got it all. Ugh, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. I'm getting hungry just hearing about it. Mmm. Good. Um, now is not the time for this. Mm, you're right. So in the last video, we explored the ice country. And we did it in our Moogle suits because it's really cold out there. Because it's cold out there! But what we're going to do now is we're going to be heading for the desert. So that's going to require a change of clothes. But let's stay in our Moogle outfits for a little bit here because... Because otherwise the trip to the cannon travel guy is going to be a little cold. I'm starting to notice that the little thing I said about how your characters don't get hurt when you run away from them... Not necessarily always true. Ah, here we go. Can travel right here. Hey there. So we talk to this guy. Welcome. Welcome. He'll give you the option to go to Kikara, but when you choose what? it, he's gonna say, "Not enough gunpowder for that." But Batango's my limit for now. So why exactly was hey that there. an option? Then I have Welcome. no idea. But there we go. Sure thing. Just pop yourself into the barrel. On the tab. I'll get hand to you as well, buddy. Yeah, we made it back to Matango. Alright, let's go ahead and change up our clothes here. Let's forget where the options is in this thing. So we'll go to Tiger Soup for a little bit here. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh wow, that looks cool. Oh my god. She looks scary. She's so skinny. She's like really skinny and then she's got those giant tiger feet. Oh man. Good lord, man, is this safe for YouTube? Like, I'm gonna get banned for this. Holy crap. She's got her hair all pulled up, too. Stacy's mom has got it going on, boy, let me tell you. I don't know what made me think of that. Shoot, I took. Well, no, we can do it when we get there. I was, I was gonna say I forgot to upgrade my weapons, but, yeah, well, we'll be okay. Alright, here I am. I'm still good with a sword, though. God, this mobility is so nice. Take My hair doesn't get in the way now. Wah! Ha ha ha! Wish I could turn the camera and get a better look, but maybe it's better that I don't. Well, we'll see it in the cutscenes, that's for sure. Hey, hey! Welcome, welcome! It's 50 GP per trip. And so the reason the other guy won't send you to Kakara is because this is supposed to happen here the first time you go. I'm not too sure about this, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a try. Uh, just pop yourself into the barrel. All right, here goes nothing. Yeah, so the first time you go to the desert, they don't want you to go straight to the town because there's something that's supposed to happen before then. But if you take the other cannon travel guy, well, he always sends you to the town because I guess because he's closer or something. Uh oh. Let's find a town before we shrivel up. Alright, well. Just let this music play for a little bit here. The secret to finding your way through the desert is surprisingly not a lot of people know this, I guess, but um, I did explain it in the original LP, but I'll go ahead and explain it here too. What you're trying to do, this, this is basically a series of recurring screens, like it wraps around on itself. It's four screens across, two screens down. So eventually if you wander, you start to see the same screens over and over again, it's not just your imagination. But the way to get 
to trigger the ship to show up, which seems random. Wait a minute. I'm actually gonna set the cure water to L1. Also got freeze to set to R1 here so that we can do this. Oh uh, yeah, it seems random, but it's actually not. Basically what you want to do is get back to the same screen that you started on. But if you try to leave that first screen any other way, left, right, or down, it won't let you. So you would think that if you went, say, up, left, and then down, you wouldn't be able to go right, because it's blocked from the other side. But actually it's not. The secret is to enter that screen from a different direction, enter the screen that you first landed here on. So if you just go up, left, down, right, you'll get to the ship. It's really that simple. Oh, there's pumpkins. Oh boy, those guys look a little friendly, don't they? Maybe not so much. Ooh, we watch out for these. Oh, ho, ho, ho. lost my charge attack there. Oh, wow, wow, the guy in the sand is ballooned. That's hilarious. You probably want to try to stay away from those, because once they start casting, they can be a little relentless. It's not too bad, but it's just enough. Well, right now I'm glad I didn't upgrade the weapons, because now I'm able to balloon these guys. When you get a level 6 spear, I believe that balloons them as well. Spider leg is facing out. Well, while he's doing that, let's take care of this guy. Let's see where that puts us on the guide screen. I'm pretty sure I still am missing some monsters from Ice Country, though. I don't know how serious I really am at this point about <laughs> trying to fill that thing out. But we'll take a look here. Yeah, so here's our four desert monsters here. We're still missing one. Ice Country monsters start here. I think there's actually a second ghost enemy. So I remember a lot of times in the original there would be like two different types, and it would be really hard to tell them apart. Or maybe the monsters were sorted by like species or something. I don't think they are though. Because they wouldn't be as filled out on the top as they are. I've not been very good about checking my HP. Oh there it is. We we found it. <laughs> Wow, look at her hands. She's been busy doing well. I guess when you swing weapons enough, you tend to kind of... Let's check it out! I don't know. Hmm. A ship? Pull the top aboard! A ship?! Yeah, you go first. Uh, yeah, oh close. god, listen to that. Ugh. You there! What are you doing out here on this sand ship? Only Imperial spies could be so stupid! Who are you calling stupid? What are you doing? Sir, we picked up some spies, okay. sir! Okay. Alright, now. Well, know, now's when it gets good. Simply better. In the desert. We'd almost given up. I see. I'll help you, stranger. But in return, you'll have to work off your debt. You'll work in the engine room. The shrimp will take kitchen duty. And the lady comes with me. Oh god, Prim, I'm sorry, man. You hear what I said? Move! Oh man, his dick is gonna be so hard. That's work. not good. You were picked up in the desert too? I wonder what will happen to us. There she blows! <laughs> the new crewman or something? I'm Sergo, pirate! Oh, oh sorry. The ocean's not calm enough these days to make a living pillaging and plundering, but I can't forget the feel of the waves and the salt spray in the air. That's why I stowed away on this ship. I'll be back on the high seas someday. Mark my words. Someday. Someday. Yeah, so the original game doesn't really give you any indication that this guy is important, but what you have to do is actually talk to him twice huh? to progress you here. You have friends waiting, and you want to escape. Leave it to me. Talk to those guards by the stairs. I'll take care of the rest. All right. Admiral Mary of Tasnica is in command. But his grandson, Mori, calls the shot. If he doesn't like the look of you, you'll end up dumped in a sand dune. Well, okay then. You get back to your post. No. Help! Fire! Fire! What? Out of my way! 
Oh my god, these are the dumbest guards ever. They're also apparently very slow. Where's the fire? <laughs> I think that's what they say if you talk to them again. Yeah, let's do that. I can see why people would be put off by that a little bit. Okay, hang on, there's a part of the music I just want to point out here. I'm going the wrong way anyway. Oh, I just love that, that little 8-bit that little breakdown right there. Call me crazy, but I just think it's so cool. He still burps. <laughs> well, I guess you better make some more then. Alright, let's get this stuff sorted out here. Gotta make our great escape. I'll tell you what, man. It's easy to get lost in this. I mean, it's not, but this door right here, I remember in the original, was kind of hard to see, so they made it a little more obvious. Thankfully. And, uh, there's a safe one if you go up here. Nothing to report. Care to make a log entry? Nope. Yeah, some people don't like this iteration of the music because of how much, how many different instruments it goes through. I kind of, I don't know, I like it. Oh no! Rats have eaten all the food in the galley! It can't be! Rats, we're finished. And then the sprite laughs. Rats, <laughs> huh? Can't really see him there, but uh, yeah. Oh, she's got a little thing in her hair. Massage my shoulder. Chop chop. You wish? I'd rather eat sand. No, it's I'd rather have my gums scraped. That was such a good line. I don't know why they took that out. Spoiled. Can you imagine? Like, that makes me cringe just to think about. You want some? Come and get it! Well, you better look out, dude. She's level... Maury, something. Stop this ridiculousness now. Yeah, you tell that asshole. But Gramps, she disobeyed my... Also, she's being, uh... No more pathetic excuses, Maury. You there, get out! Don't have to tell me twice! Yup. Am I glad to see you guys? Have you heard this creep? They've escaped! Now what do we do, Gramps? Oh, um, escapee. <laughs> she walked a foot away from the me in the desk. Um. Whoa, what? Like, where were we gonna go anyway? You know, we're Be stuck in the sand here. Ah! No, no, I don't wanna die. Let's surrender. Idiot. You call yourself a soldier? Man, it's your battle station. No way! Let's get out of here. Oh, good lord. It's such a mess here. Because you get captured by these guys, and then these guys get taken over by the Empire, and it's just like, what in the world What's is going a on? coincidence? I didn't think I'd see you here. Well, here I am. So what you're going to do about it? Thanatos' emissary warned me about a group of meddlesome travelers. He must have meant you. Shall we go for a round? Yeah, come on with it. This is another time when I think, like, a boss transition would have been awesome. Everybody, like, jumps off the ship and they land somewhere in the desert and just go straight into the battle. That would have been cool. I can see, once again, why they didn't do it. They originally didn't do it, so, but still. It just would have been cool, you know. Freeze, I didn't even see how much that actually did. Yeah, these crits are ridiculous. And when he fires out the missiles, they tend to always go for the main character. So you find yourself sitting here getting stunlocked. 
Which is really not that different from what happened in the Oh no, he was going after her that time. Nope, oh, I see how much that did. Oh. Now that's all you need to speed up level 3, right? Once again, the boss is not hurting us at all. Monsters in the desert hurt us more than that guy did. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and whip board, man, we're gonna have so much upgrading to do when we get to lots next. You fellas are a boot. Look me up if you're interested. Well, you say that after knowing us for what, ten minutes? No! My beautiful ship! Have you no shame? <laughs> if it wasn't for our passengers, we would have been goners. We owe them a debt. What? You know Gemma? But that means you're heroes. I apologize for my grandson's foolish actions. He'll get what's coming to him. I'd almost forgotten how true soldiers are meant to behave. Thank you for reminding me. No problem, dude. Thank Go north you. from here and you'll find the oasis kingdom known as Kakara. West of that is the fire palace. Alright, another palace. Good. There's one more guy around here. There's just this random guy. You have to talk to this random guy. And he says, oh, we're sending a rescue team. And he's like, are you leaving? And you're like, yep. Go north from here. And you'll find the Oasis Kingdom known as Kakara. West of that is the Fire Palace. Sounds good. Alright, we're gonna try to avoid these if we can. So we can say howdy to Kakara, or Kakara, or Kaka, or Kakariko, I don't know. Oh, you can see the dancers full bodied here. <laughs> I love Welcome it. To Kakara, the Oasis Village. Oasis, huh? So if you shop here, you're gonna see the same armor that you saw in Ice Country. So there's really no need. Let's see, we're good on fairies. Get on that. Get on that. Okay then. Anything else? I have enough gold. That's for sure. Come again. Yep. I'm about All right, Watts. Pass out from this heat. I'll try not to melt before I upgrade your weapon. All right, say goodbye to the ballooning spear. I've been waiting. Which weapon is ready for reforging? Just watch the guy. Oh, I was gonna say watch the guy dance while we upgraded our weapons, but nope. Oops. Spear goes to four. Okay, all we had left was the gloves there. So too much. Fairy walnut? Are you trying to make fun of me? Give me a break. Oh wait. You were talking about the mana seed. My mistake. You're going to return the seed? Oh, that is helpful indeed. Watch out for monster nests while you're out there. Yeah, I'll be careful. You've brought back the mana seed. How can we ever thank you enough? I don't know. You can give me some water. Give me some water, you measly little pecs. I need water. Oh, you need water too, huh? Say, so, yeah. Can I have some of that water? Salamando's my friend, and you're his friend. That makes us friends too. FBA, friends by association. Alright, let's go turn in the seed. I mean, we're only up to 23 minutes here on the recording. Feels like it's been longer than that, but... Well, hey. Should we try changing our weapons too? I've got to be a level 3 on that axe by now. I'll go to... the bow. Oh, I've heard go to the axe for a while. I actually have Sprite go to the sword. I don't think monsters around here give nearly as much experience. Maybe they will in the palace itself. Oh, here's the other enemy we're missing. It's the uh, Captain Duck, I think he's called? Oh no, this one's Mad Mallard. Look at these guys! They're crawling around like Snake. Who do you think you are? Kick your ass, man. Oh wow, he's not dead yet. Oh, he's dead now. Ducks have some pretty funny animations, I gotta say. I mean, when you really look, I mean, they must have taken some time, you know, to really build up these monsters again from scratch and you give them all their unique animations and everything. There's some pretty funny stuff if you stop and really take the time to look at it. Not to insinuate that people who don't like the game haven't done that, you know. It's just, okay, well, one of, our, one of our weapons is confusing the enemy. I'm not sure which one. It's probably the axe. 
Ah, here we are. Oh man. It's so freaky how they sting the ground and it comes up on the other side. It's freaky or something. Well, this guy doesn't have a pit here, he's just gonna spawn up out of nowhere. Oh. Crap! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, this ain't good, this ain't good. Going after him with that magic, man. What? I can't target? Oh, um, he must be dead then. No? He's not. You can't give candy to someone when they're getting hit by magic, that's unfortunate. What am I doing with the bow? I didn't give myself the bow, did I? I mean, I guess it's not that big a deal. Okay, they do. Oh man. So I was wrong, man. Wait a minute, let's get into the temple here. Alright, seriously, dude. Holy crap, they're so annoying. Healing power of undies. Healing power of, um, crashes also. I was about to say here, they're playing the wrong music here. Let me see something. I mean, technically it's the right music, but... Yeah, how do you like it hit by a boat? It's a different name for, like, Mystic Invasion, it's the Dark Dungeon music. And then there's, like, the music it plays when you've resolved the temple, like in the Water Temple, you know? And it always bugged me that they played the resolved music in this temple as you went through it. I feel like it would have had a lot more urgency if they would have played Mystic Invasion here. Because you don't get to hear Mystic Invasion a single time after... After the Underground Palace until you get all the way to Shade's place, which is way later in the game. Also, I need to bring Sprite back here. Alright, and then in a weird sort of twist, you actually have to use Salamando's magic on this crystal. How else were they supposed to lock you out of the rest of the temple, though, right? So I said in that last video something about how if you came here first, you would go all the way through the temple and see that the seed wasn't there. But truthfully, this is where you would get stopped because you wouldn't have Salamando yet. All right, you blew the fire out. Unless, of course, you just wanted to go get Salamando, not complete the Ice Palace, come all the way here. You know, use Salamando on the thing, because you would have had Analyzer at that point, so you would know. Then get to the end of the temple, see that the seed was missing, go all the way back over there again. Just wouldn't be worth the trouble at that point. Also, we have red drops here, too. Oof. Wow, what is that guy doing? That was a very strange movement pattern. There are a couple of missable chests in here, although I don't think there's anything too terribly important here. Y'all y'all guys are on fire, huh? Oh, I did it again. I ran through the door. The door... Man, I think the door hit detection is a little more sensitive than it was before. Because I find myself doing that all the time. I never used the axe as a kid, now I'm not sure why. I guess I didn't like it because it's kind of slow. But it definitely doesn't seem as slow in this game, for sure. Well, these guys just like respawning, don't they? This is not bad for grinding, though, if you want to do it. There's actually a better spot, though, later. And then after all that, you have the audacity to dodge my attack. How dare you? I really wish they played the, the dark dungeon music here, because this temple is definitely not resolved yet. No idea why they play the light version of it here. I've never understood that. Well, ah oh shoot, no, I'm not gonna be casting spells while you're shooting at me. Would you just get out of the menu? That's the other thing, if you're moving the joystick even slightly when it's in the menu, it's gonna start moving around in the menu, then you can't close it until the next one comes up. Although to be fair, that's how the original was too, I'm pretty sure. So we need fireball for you. video may run a little long if I want to finish this temple. That's okay. We'll finish it. Oh, crap. That's, man, he wants to cast Stone Saber on himself. Well, I'm just gonna wait here. Because <laughs> I don't even care. Alright, is there a chest up here? I know there's like a couple of chests. Oh, well, there was one earlier. We got the thousand GP. A thousand more for us right there. Let me see how good Freeze really is on these, just if I just get to them. I can't target them until I get them on the screen, so I have to sit here and keep moving forward and... 
Oh, no, good morning. Actually, that's not that great, is it? Or did the damage just not show up yet? Oh, there it is. Yeah, they don't have that much HP. But the grinding spot, the best grinding spot in here, is probably right here. Just go up and down these stairs. Freeze, target all three of them. And just finish them. Also, I need to candy myself here. Or I can just do this. Oof. Okay, stop for two seconds here. <laughs> These guys really are more relentless than they were before. This guy up here seems to be exited the Matrix or something. Not sure what happened to him. Maybe he's just dead. Which is a little unfair, but hey. Hey. Alright then. Can you spread your firewalls all over the place? Can I hit you? Yeah, great. Y'all wanna follow me here? Oh man. It doesn't seem like the AI is nearly as bad the pathfinding, but it still is pretty bad sometimes. It really just depends on the room. You know, in rooms like this where the paths are really narrow, it can be a little tricky. I believe this is an axe orb. Yep. There's at least one of those in here. So I know the original had this thing where, if you missed an orb, then the next treasure chest you found that had that type of orb in it would just have two of them. Like, you would open the treasure, and then the treasure chest would still be there, and you would just get another one. But I don't know if that's the case for this one, because I kind of don't think it is, from what I've heard, but... Like, I would test it, but I don't want to skip an orb to do that. I guess I'm just too crazy. Probably accidentally skip one anyway, I don't know. Oh, well, there you go, somebody's dead again. It's a good thing we've made a habit of bringing along lots of cups of wishes. This should probably heal myself too, actually. I'm putting Sprite at the front of the party because, one, number one, I never do that. And I want to. <laughs> and then number two, because, well... If he's taking the most damage, then maybe I should be the one controlling him, so I'm not walking him right into it the way the AI would do. Let's just see where this goes. Nope, that is the way forward. Okay, fine. Fine, be that way. Ah, out of magic again. Don't want missed. It's okay. It's so nice when we pick up Luna, and we don't have to worry about this all anymore. I just want to kill some enemies with this thing so I can start to see what like, what the charge attacks are like. Because I remember in the original, you would charge it up, it would shoot multiple arrows. It would just shoot a whole bunch of them, you know? I think the javelin did that too. In the case of lucky targeting there. Now yeah, I'm just going to some behind. Y'all can stay down there and play with him if you want to, I'm getting out of here. Yeah, it's funny because a lot of these doorways, like through here, these same type of doorways are in the Mana Fortress, and yet they're loading screens in the Mana Fortress. I'm not sure why. I don't know how wide it is that some screens seem to be okay, and the same as the original. Like that one, but then other ones have like a loading screen every, every screen, basically. <laughs> Man, where'd you come from? I don't know. Let's get on out of here. I mean, we're getting up there on time, too, so I kind of like to go ahead and... I don't want to stop in the middle of a temple here. To be fair, this little room in, this, in the original was annoying, too. As we're always shooting you down when you tried to get the whip crossing and all. Alright, we're almost there. Just... Oh, crap! I'm not used to having to look down there at my HP all the time, at least not that often. Alright, so you light this up, all the torches come on. And then we freeze the crystal. They should all go out except for two of them. I saw somebody on Reddit say that there was a bug in this room 
Where, like, because all the torches are supposed to go out except for it's these two here. And that indicates you're supposed to just walk in between them to get to the next room. But they said that in their game, this top left torch stayed lit as well, along with these two. That doesn't seem to have happened for me here, so I don't know if it's just a case of an anomaly on their end, or maybe it's a bug that got fixed. Who really knows? Well, who is this clown? Never would have guessed you were. I never would have guessed you were a meat, um, a minotaur, based on what I could see for a second there. Whip is doing pretty good on him. Girl. And when he gets in his second phase, he'll be a little worse. Oh, was that? He's not in the second phase already, is he? I think he was just showing him off. I don't have any charge attacks with a whip yet, do I? Oh, here we go, that's the second phase. Now that is defense is gonna go up a little bit. This is another boss where last time I fought him, he cornered my other two guys. Just like that right there into that corner. And then I just hit him from behind for the rest of the fight. And it was like really easy. So <laughs> he's definitely a little dumber than he used to be. Just gonna keep hammering against nothing there. I don't know, man. Oh my you get so many critical hits on the bosses. I'm not even gonna bother healing. There we go. Gee, imagine if I had used magic on that. <laughs> oh, apparently the wind wants to celebrate too. Boy, I wouldn't see that much wind in March, would you? I'm recording this on March 1st, actually. Apparently it's Chun Li's 50th birthday. That's kind of depressing. <laughs> Return to the seed to the altar. Gotta synchronize with the seed. Gotta do it. Yeah, in the original you'd walk in and it would say the seed is on the stage. Like it was there already. Like, wait a minute, I thought we had the seed. If we were the ones who put it up there, it should say return to the seed to the sage. So that makes more sense than the original did. Alright. We now have level 4 magic. And no cutscene of the sprite saying, hey, I remember something now. So yeah, let's get on back to Kakara here and see a cutscene before we go. So you've regained all your memories? Pretty much. What was it like to live in the village? Did you have a happy childhood? Yeah. Did you always have an attitude? Or was it because of the memory loss? Ouch! That hurts my ego. I've always been known as a kind and caring sprite, thank you. Says who? When the villagers were off in the forest collecting herbs, I found a special one and took it to Grandpa. He told me it was a rare medicinal plant, so I figured he wanted it. Sounds like you had the village's interests at heart, especially if you took it straight to your grandpa. Is that the whole story? Did you end up giving it to him? He wouldn't take it. What? Why? Probably because I charged him for it. It was a rare plant, after all. You charged your own grandfather money for a weed? <laughs> well... Hey, it was compensation! It wasn't legal, then! Covering it in the first place. Guess the amnesia didn't change you at all. Well, don't sound so disappointed. See you guys next time.